So I can uh, give everybody the your release report if you're all on the edge of your seat waiting for that one. Um, so we did have a new promotion this week, uh, uh, mate release Dawa, which is kind of cool from our perspective because it's the first viewer we've actually promoted since Uplift finished. Um, there were a few internal tools that had broken or rusted or whatever since the last time that we done a promotion, so there was a bit of scrambling behind the scenes working, but at this point I think we're in decent shape um, for future ones, so that's good. Um, so you should see that as an optional update uh, whenever you log in with uh, one of our viewers. Um, I have a few other things that are currently in uh, RC. Um, I think our actual RCs right now are the Jelly Doll Update Viewer and the uh, Key Mappings Viewer. Um, so I'm not sure what the next promotion is going to be. It might well be the Jelly Doll Viewer, which uh, fairly limited set. Related to how jelly dolls are shown, as you might guess. Um, we have a few other viewers that are in decent shape for getting out to RC pretty soon. Um, LMR number five uh, is the latest batch of graphics fixes. That is in decent shape right now. Um, we've uh, kind of uh, cut off new new Jiras for that one, um, and I think all of the ones that we're including are done. So uh, I think that one should be in good shape to go to RC pretty soon. Um, we've also got the EFS replacement viewer, um, which is also in decent shape. Um, so I would expect both of those to be going to RC pretty soon. We will also have. Uh, one or more new mate viewers coming along uh, state soon too. So I guess watch the space for those. Um, the profile legacy profiles viewer. Uh, there's more active discussion on. I'm not so I'm not sure exactly how soon that's going to be going out, um, uh, or if there's going to be some additional UI work on it. Um, Posted on that one. And I think that is it for uh, I think that is it for viewer news. Um, at some point, there's going to be a viewer coming out with the updates to get uh, Apple's notarization working. That's a kind of a long-standing hassle that we uh, don't get flagged happily by Apple because of the notarization issues. Um, so uh, MarchCat's been working on that one for a long time, and we're looking forward to getting that out uh, as soon as we can. Uh, I think that's uh, I think that's about it. Um, anything, uh, Oz? Anything to talk about this week? No, uh, we're making a, a assorted post uplift changes to how we deploy things in uh, AWS. Uh, if we're doing our jobs perfectly, none of you will be able to tell. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll see how that goes. The, uh, I'm working on some login improvements that will uh, prevent people from logging in when their inventory is broken. Uh, and uh, so hopefully, uh, some of the things we've experienced lately um, have very clearly been the result of a a uh, a bad mix of responsibilities between the server and the viewer. And one of the steps with respect to maintaining inventory correctness, and one of the steps along the way to making that more robust, is to make sure that once we have detected that inventory is not in a valid state in the database, uh, that we not propagate that error out to the viewer. Um, so we don't, if if we're getting errors reading the inventory database, uh, instead of letting you log in and having your viewer start doing things to 
to the database that will only make the situation more confusing, uh, we will fail the login and send back uh, a, a new login failure that says your inventory has a problem, contact support, and we'll give you some information to give to support that they can look use to look up exactly what the problem was and initiate the right corrective action. Um, so uh, that might cause a few more login failures, but it should cause a great many. We, we hope that it will prevent even more login problems. So, uh, or rather, uh, inventory problems. So, uh, those changes will be coming. Uh, there will be a change that, of course, we will have modeled in our viewer for you uh, that uh, you'll want to pick up for how to deal with this new error information. So, uh, that I, I should have test versions of login way next week. Uh, and then we can start making the associated viewer changes, and then we'll we'll start deploying those uh, hopefully before the end of the month. So um, that's that's something that's coming up, but is not an, a, a real short-term concern. Yeah, that'll be a really nice uh, nice thing to have. One long-standing problem we've had is this uh, duplicate current outfit folders, um, which is uh, uh, should be uh, substantially substantially cleared up by these changes. Um, but uh, excuse me, the the typical manifestation there is that um, the viewer logs in, thinks there's no outfit folder, and decides to create it. But there actually was one. It to know about um, duplicates, take service. Upstate that take requires a lot of work to recover from. Um, so if we can avoid getting into that kind of condition in the first place, it'll be a be a big win all around. Yep. So um, everything else that's going on right now should be. As I said, pretty much invisible to to you folks. Uh, so I guess the floor. It's time to open the floor for issues, concerns, questions, whatever. Uh, the jelly dolls are getting simplified. Um, you know what we've been doing in the past with those is, you know, if you're flagged as a jelly doll, you would be displayed with sort of simplified color and texture, but we would still try to display all of your um, attachment, all of your attachments correctly, um, and uh, it's so that. Uh, that it look that looks kind of nice, but it sort of defeats the purpose of using jelly dolls to improve performance because uh, a lot of the overhead of of drawing complex avatars is drawing all of those attachments, you know, body and all that stuff. Um, so, uh, you know, the whole the whole idea with jelly dolls really is that they're supposed to be simplified and cheap to draw. So um, Behavior now is just you're going to get a uh, just a, a simple humanoid avatar appearance when you're jelly dolled. Draw much faster, and you can spend your uh, spend your graphics cycles drawing the things that you do want to draw rather than the things you said you didn't want to draw. Maybe that will, maybe the 
less interesting form of jelly dolls will serve as a motivator for people to keep their rendering costs down. We'll see. Yeah, with a new viewer, you'll look like a human regardless uh, if, if you're jelly dolled. It's, it's, it's more of a placeholder, really. It's not intended to represent your true appearance. Um, everybody's just, you'll, you'll be just a sort of a generic uh, male or female. But your shape or quests, there's no, there's no customization or anything. Did you I keep have... the, did you keep the color map the same? Uh, no, they're all just gray now. Oh, cool. I have a question actually as well. Um, with the um, uplift issues, are they still ongoing? I mean, I feel like there's a lot of weird stuff going on lately that we're tempted to say is probably from uplift, but we aren't sure. Well, some some of them are. I mean, the the fact that map tiles aren't being generated is still a a, a late uplift item. Um, the you know there are there are still things. We have found that the chat service needs restarting more frequently than it used to. We have not yet diagnosed why, uh, but we've been trying to keep a close eye on that and do it. Uh, often enough to keep the situation from from getting too bad. Um, we are working on that, uh, but uh, it uh, it's well, we're not we're not done. We don't have a definitive result, and we don't have a a date by which we expect it to be improved. Um, there are probably some others. Uh, that are uplift related, uh, you know. I I don't want to I don't want to say that they're that they're that I, I wouldn't I wouldn't make the assumption that any given problem you're encountering is uplift related at this point. It it may or may not be. Um, the occasional uh, we I know people have been seeing the occasional. Uh, you try to teleport somewhere and it and you get an error that says you're at the wrong region and it and your teleport fails um, that's that seems to be uplift related uh, uh, and we haven't finished diagnosing why that happens or at least why it happens so much more often now than it used to um, so there are still a few things that are that we believe are probably uplift related um, but uh Overall, things are running pretty well. I, I don't know if I can answer that any more specifically than that, but it's that's that's kind of our view on it at the moment. Right. I mean, I think you'd need to list specific issues where we could say, yes, this is uplift related, um, or no, just second. The a question about uploading meshes. Um, yeah, the the limit of 110 bones is per sub mesh. Um, so you can upload a model that uses all the bones, but you can't upload a single sub mesh that uses more than 110. And the reason for that limit is uh, because of GL driver issues. There are some. Um, Basically, there are some uh, graphics cards out there that can't handle more than a certain number of the transform matrices that we use um, to manage those um, those joint transformations. Um, so, when we were in the process of developing Bento, we discovered that we couldn't uh, we couldn't push the limit all the way to the total number of bones. You're actually early on built an avatar with a whole bunch of tentacles that were would wave around, and we 
varied the number of bones in the tentacles until we figured out what the were what the rules needed to be. It was very creepy looking. Sort of a Dr. Octopus vibe. Whereas now Avir's avatar is not creepy at all. Hey, my my guy was old style, old school creepy. Uh, legacy profiles is based on a contribution from Firestorm, basically switching to use the um, the pre-web interface for most of the most of the user profiles stuff. Um, I think currently the only piece of the web-based profiles that, that it still uses is the uh, is the feed tab. Uh, I think if you want annoying web profiles after that, you would need to go uh, just access through the website instead of through the viewer. I'm not positive if we're going to keep it around at all, but if it is around, that would be the way to get to it. My goal is to kill him eventually. Oh my god, don't shed so many tears. But you know, the feed is part of the uh, app for the web profiles. So if we get to kill them, I'll have to kill the feed. We don't mind that either. Because people get really paranoid when they think someone is, quote, following them. End quote. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, however, uh, not everybody doesn't mind that um, the feed has a small but robust following. I didn't even intend that pun, but nonetheless. Now, are the plans for Premium Plus still kind of hanging out there somewhere until until we can leave our houses again? Uh, we are uh, currently discussing the timeline for Premium Plus again, now that we can spend some time on it. As soon as uh, we have more realistic timelines to share, I, I promise we will. We certainly have not forgotten about it. 
At least two tabs in my browser right now are dedicated to it. That would that would fall in the category of sensitive internal information we're not supposed to share. Maybe a final question for me, but what's been up with all the marketplace issues that we've had recently? Marketplace relies on an awful lot of Second Life infrastructure, and we've been trying to make improvements to it and, of course, uplifting it. And with large complicated pieces of software that have lots of dependencies that's not always uh, possible to to QA perfectly and especially marketplace uh, it's very difficult to test that in our test environments because we can't simulate the kind of load and the and the variety of usages that it gets in the real grid so it's it's uh, it's one of the components that's tough to tough to maintain in a perfectly stable state, and we're not even trying to maintain it in a perfectly stable state. We're trying to improve it. So uh, it, it's it, that sometimes results in in problems and having to roll back releases. But, in in uh, terms of a timeline, we had a deploy uh, found that it. It caused some issues, attempted to roll forward and fix those issues, and ultimately rolled back the, the two deploys. Um, it's frustrating and slow going, but, uh, you know, a little bit at a time, we're making it better. A lot of the a lot of the changes we're making are intent are specifically intended to reduce that kind of instability in the future. But, you know, sometimes to get from um, disorganized to organized, you have to go through, uh, you know, a brief chaotic state in the middle, and we may be seeing instances of that. I, I mean, this is one of those cases where it would be much easier if we could take it down for a, a, a few weeks and then put up a, a, a new and better one, but obviously that's not a thing we can do. Yeah, that is, we get enough, it's down for five minutes and we start getting, hearing it in our support chats. <laughs> it's like, whoa. So I just, I, now we have a, a good answer to give them. They're doing some changes. They'll be good in the end. You know, it's kind of like what we've been telling them about off lift is there's, it's always going to be, you know, rough spots in the early part of age or improvement like that or change like that. So, yeah, I just wondered if that was part of something that was a work in progress. Yeah, actually, you know, in terms of overall grid stability, um, and you know, very all of its various services, uh, we're significantly better now than we were before uplift, uh, because before uplift we had things like ten-year-old power supplies giving up the ghost and releasing the magic smoke, and uh, you know, network switches that that failed and disk drives that finally stopped working after much longer than their service lifetime. Um, none of those things are happening to us anymore, or if they do, they, they automatically correct themselves at AWS. Um, so uh, there are a whole bunch of sources of failures that just aren't happening anymore. Um, that doesn't make the software perfect, unfortunately, but it, it, it 
it is reducing the number of things that can go wrong. I do have a shout out for you guys to, I'm not sure who, I know you guys don't handle it because of your viewer development, but I had a, I was really impressed. We had a problem at our region, one of our, the region a friend of mine owns. And I mean, it got to the point where we could not even dress on the region. We couldn't change clothes because it was saying the parcel permissions didn't allow it. And we reported it and within less than 24 hours, they came, restarted it for us because it's main, and put us on a different server. I was really impressed, so a little shout out there. Thank you. We always appreciate hearing the, the, the good stories, too. And we'll pass that on to the land team. That's, that's their, their thing. No other issues? We get to start the weekend early? Well, go back to testing login early. <laughs> okay then. Thanks all. Thank you. Hi, folks. Oh, God, I'm still the bush. I forgot. Bye, everybody. Thanks for the fast meeting. I suppose I need to stand, huh?